G'day everyone. Thank you for tuning in. It's Wednesday. That means midweek update time and a little bit to get through in this midweek update too. Um, normally I'd wait till Sunday to discuss issues that have cropped up during the week. But last night a uh, pretty important thing happened here in Australia and I'd like to pass on my first impressions. And I fear if I let it fester and bubble away until Sunday, I'm likely to get really riled up and I'm likely to say things that could offend both my viewers and subscribers and could get me into a world of trouble with YouTube, which, as you know, I, I wish to avoid. So I will, um, I'll talk about that momentarily. First off, let's get into the midweek update. So after the vlog on Sunday, I uploaded two more videos, stuff that I'd picked up last week from my mate at his computer business, and the Dell C610 latitude laptop that my friend gave me from the tv station quick follow-up on the latitude laptop it has got some other issues uh i dropped another um ide drive in it and the bios still didn't see it now there's three possibilities as to why that is one the bios is unhappy and problematic and may need reflashing two the ide controller in itself is fucked or three, the actual interface uh, plug on the motherboard is not allowing for a proper connection between the plug and the drive. So obviously that's going to need a bit more investigation and I will keep you updated as to how that goes and or do a video on it at the same time. Monday, I was at my mate's computer business for the majority of the day, as, as, uh, as I said. Tuesday, I did the video on firewalling. Now, the one thing I forgot to mention in that video, and uh, I only realised it this morning, actually, I meant to also say, if you need help with firewalling, you need to, you're having trouble understanding the technical bullshit that's being thrown at you, or the sales pitch being thrown at you, and you don't understand, and you just want it in plain, simple language, feel free to contact me either through here on YouTube, or through the Facebook group, Backyard IT. And I'll be more than happy to help you out, give you some advice, or if you need some visual advice, I can always do a video, as you know. Today, I've got to go back to my mate's computer business shortly uh, to implement the decisions that we've made, um, and you sort of meet in the middle and discuss some issues that, are, that we've got to get through. So I'm heading off there shortly. It's coffee time for me this morning. Excuse me. Um, also coming up this week, we've got some teardowns. I'm going to get a couple of teardowns done. We haven't done some teardowns for a while, so I thought the weather's starting to improve. I'll get a, tear, a couple of teardowns out. I need to make some space in the uh, workshops. So I'll get onto that as well. But, so that's what's coming up. Now, last night, a fairly important uh, federal event happened. It was the... Our federal government, Liberal National Coalition government, handed down the 2017-18 federal budget. And I don't mind telling you, right off the meat of the bat, right off the top, I'm fucking petrified. I'm shitting bricks. For a couple of reasons, which I'll get to. But first off, there were our federal treasurer, Scott Morrison, handed it down. There are some good parts to the budget. But there are also some parts of the budget that have got me petrified. Good parts of the budget are funding for our National Disability Insurance Scheme here in Australia, which is good. There are going to be people cracking the shits about the Medicare levy increase, but I think it needs to be well maintained. It's a very good idea. More uh, financial support for hospital funding, uh, help for first home buyers, that's all well and good. It's pretty good. If you're in my situation, you're going to be shitting bricks. You're going to be very, very concerned about how the future's looking for you. You all know that I have some mental health issues. I am mentally incapable and somewhat physical with my back of holding down a full-time job 
or a you know high hour part time job. I'm on the lowest government welfare available, and I don't mind telling you I'm worried about how much is going to come into my bank account each fortnight. I do not cheat the system here in Australia. It's too dangerous and too risky to try and cheat the system. You're better off being honest. My GP has prevented me from working because of my medication that I take. And I don't mind telling you that I am worried about how much money is going to be coming into my bank account and the conditions that I've got to follow. I realise there's a lot of welfare cheats out there that ruin it for all of us. But I'm concerned. I really am worried. Both for myself and the other half. She's worried as well. We both are. And to... And I've, I've, I've been saying this for a long time, that federal governments here in Australia only govern for the sectional interests to put them in there. In the case of our Prime Minister and the leader of his party, the Liberal National Coalition, it's corporate Australia, the big end of town of Melbourne, Sydney and Brisbane and somewhat Adelaide, Perth. The big end of town. Corporate Australia. That's all they govern for. If Labor's in power, they'll govern for the union, but no federal government looks at the middleman because they don't care about the middleman. The middleman didn't put him into power. So they slugged the middleman. The federal government put big taxes on our big um, retail and corporate banks. The toothless tiger in ASIC has been told to monitor the banks. Give me a break. The banks are going to work away at getting around it and pass on the taxes that the government's charging them. They'll pass on to the customers to keep their profits soaring. You're seriously saying that banks aren't going to pass on the, the, the tax increases that the government's put them under? Oh, give me a break. So, um, quite frankly, I'm concerned. I think there's good parts of the budget, but I, I seriously think that if you're a realist and you look at it on a whole and you're in my financial situation where you are living with your eyebrows above the bloody poverty line because you are, whether it, if you're physically unable to work, you're covered by the NDIS, but if you're mentally unable to work, you're not covered by anything. You, 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 you're on the lowest government welfare available and the government couldn't give a flying stuff about it, quite frankly. And so, that, that, as I said, that's why I'm concerned about my financial status here because I can't work. I'm mentally incapable of holding down a job. And um, I'm concerned. I really am very, very worried. So that's my first impression. As I said, I'd, if I'd let, let it fester up until Sunday's vlog, I would get into trouble because I reckon I will have gone. I would have gone right off. Um, you know, uh, the other thing that's good too is um, I think I said this. Uh, um, good for first home buyers. They've got a decent break out of it. Victoria gets screwed again. Actually, if you look at it from a state point of view, Victoria gets fucked again as always. We give most of the GST and we get fuck all back, but that's just common. Victoria is one of the smallest states in Australia. Um, neither of the two leaders of the current governing parties like each other. Neither of the treasurers like each other. But even when you have a coalition government in power in Victoria and a coalition federal government, Victoria gets stuffed. Always has, always bloody will. Gets absolutely stuffed. And another reason behind that too, which a lot of people outside of Australia probably won't understand, is that a lot of our political heavyweights are Sydney people. 
and want to look after New South Wales than any other state. So um, I thought I'd better talk about that first and let it, instead of letting it fester until Sunday's vlog. Once some more analysis is done of the budget over the week coming, I may there may something may crop up that perks my interest, and I'll talk about it during obviously the opinion piece in Sunday's vlog. But we're just going to have to wait and see how things pan out, I guess. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Bit of a long midweek update. I do apologise, but I did think it safer for me to talk about it now rather than let it fester. Anyway, as I said, also if you need some help with the firewalling stuff. Don't hesitate to contact me. I don't mind helping people understand, shall we say, the uh, understand the uh, technical spin and sales spin and put it into plain language. Anyway, thank you for watching. Check out the Facebook page. Check out the Patreon group. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.